Short sales have nothing to do with the children's gap. Hello, this is Steve with the Steve Oakers Group. We're an award-winning real estate team in West Michigan. We've made an impact through West Michigan real estate by doing things differently. Differently equals marketing through social media, blogging, neighborhood data. Doesn't hurt to have some Google juice. We're a fun group of people that look forward to educating our clients and helping them succeed. Today's question comes from almost all of our buyers. What is a short sale and why would I want to buy one if I'm a buyer? A short sale is, well, really the mortgagee or the owner of the property right now owes more on the house than what it's really worth in the, today's market. So they put it up on the market and tell you, a buyer, that it's available if the bank is willing to take a loss or a short on what they owe. So an example could be they have a house, it's worth 150000 in today's market that you might be willing to buy it for, but their mortgage is really 190. So they're asking the bank to take off the difference of the 190 and the 140 plus the cost of selling. So there might be costs on top of that that they're also asking for the bank to cover. So that they walk to the table paying nothing to get out of the house. There's a whole bunch of other legal stuff that goes into it uh, for the seller to determine if they have to pay that back later on, things like that. But that has nothing to do with you as a buyer ultimately. You just wanna know, is it worth doing? It's hard to say. It depends on your patience level, it depends on the house, and it depends on the inventory that are out there around that house. Often short sales can be a better value uh, on paper than they are to another house across the street. Again, we've talked a little bit about value and we play that out, but what you'd want to know is do you have the time to wait until the home actually gets through the process? And if the home can't be accepted for the short sale from the bank, are you okay with spending all that time to wait? <clears throat> so we have a couple of buyers right now that we call our pending. So they're waiting to find out if the short sale is going to be approved from the house that they want to buy. If they can, they'll get a really great deal. But the bank might come back and say, nope, instead of being the 150 that you offered and we accepted, we're only willing to take 165. You'll have to make the determine of if you want to take the 165 and move on, or would you rather walk away and look for another house? But it might even take you two to three months to hear back from the bank on the 165. Sometimes it's only two weeks. But there's a process that goes through that has to do more with the bank's timeline in the agent that represents the seller and how good they are at negotiating short sales with the bank to determine if you're gonna get the home at that right price. Here's a word from our sponsor this week. Habitat for Humanity of Kent County provides home ownership for those that just sometimes can't qualify for a standard mortgage like we work with. But right now they have multiple homes that they don't have homeowners for. So they've put a call to action out there for friends of mine and people that we might know. If you know somebody that um, has a family, doesn't have to have a family, but really wants a, to live in a home, Habitat for Humanity might be able to help them out. They're asking for us to refer them people that you know that might be looking for home ownership. It's a great program. I've been involved and so should you. Sort of to finish this conversation up, the question would be is how much time do you have before you need in to be for sure in a house, right? You want to know because you don't want to wait three months, find out that you can't get in that house, but you have to be out of your current house or be out of your apartment in a matter of three to four weeks, then a short sale probably isn't for you. The other thing you want to do is just make sure that when the short sale comes through, that they have the offer ready and they say, we'll sell it to you for 150. You have to be ready to close it very quickly. So we have to have all the information in and move forward quickly. Thanks so much for watching this episode. We'd love to hear from you. Contact us and connect with us on Facebook at the Steve Vokers Group. We also need your questions. Are you wondering about real estate, West Michigan, or in general? What should you do with your home? What should you do with your condo? And should you sell or buy? We'd love to be the ones that help answer those questions for you. More episodes to come. Look forward to talking to you.